हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग ए क्वेश्चन द नेम ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज कोडिंग स्ट्रिक सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ डी एस ए सो यू कैन सी हेयर गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डिस्कस द अप्रोच ऑफ क्वेश्चन देन आफ्टर दैट वी सी द कोड ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो गाइस इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर फोर एंट्रीज यू कैन सी हेयर द इनपुट इज फोर एंड देर आर एस करेक्टर ई करेक्टर एंड सी करेक्टर द मीनिंग ऑफ दीज आर ईट स्लीप एंड कोड सो एस मीन्स स्लीप ई मीन्स ईट एंड सी मीन्स कोड सो देर आर थ्री एक्टिविटी प्रेजेंट इन इनपुट सो वी आर फाइंड आउट इन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट द लॉन्गेस्ट स्ट्रीक ऑफ द कोडिंग सो there are you can see here in the four strings like s s s these are for the sleeping this is for the eating and c c c c these and uh, these are for the coding so you can count here 1 2 3 4 there are four entries of the coding and again two entries for the eating so after that four entries for the coding so our duty is to find out the longest coding streak in this strings so you can see here guys in this third string the count of c is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so seven is the longest coding streak in line number 3 so you can see here here are 1 2 3 4 5 6 Here are six, and here seven. So this is the longest. So our output here is seven. This is the longest streak of the coding, and the nine. What is the nine here? So nine is here like the longest coding streak that are not depending on the days. So they these are day wise. Day one, day two, day three, day four. So you can see here. in the ending of the first day coding 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 then again some coding entries so our duty is find out the longest coding streak in continuous days like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you can see here there are no any breakage between these coding entries like four entries here and five entries here of coding so this is the longest in continuous day and this is the longest in single day so our question is understand by you like we find out the longest entry in per day and the longest entry in the continuous day so now we are discussing the question description so for the last n days you did not you did nothing but eat sleep and code a close friend of you kept an eye on you for the last n days for every single minute of the day he kept track of your action and prepared a log file the log file contains exactly n lines each line contain a string of length 1440 that is the number of the minutes in 24 hours of the day so the string is made of the character e eat sleep and c Code only the representing eat sleep and code respectively. The ith character of the string represent what you were doing during the ith minute of the day. So your friend is now interested in finding out the maximum of the longest coding streak of the day x, and he want to now to find the longest coding streak of the n days. that are represented by the y so coding streak means the number of the c without any e or s there are no e and s present between the c entries okay so i already explained the question with the diagram so this is the sample input and the output is the 7 and 9 so you can see here in the day number 1 there are four entries day number two five entries day number 3 there are seven entries and the day number 4 is six entries of the coding and the longest is in the day number 3 so answer is 3 and the longest is the combination of the first and second days so how we can achieve this result 
so guys now come on the code and understand how we can achieve this so guys the first is the approach i want to tell you like how we can achieve this result so i use the pencil for understanding so guys we are counting these c values like there are one two three four four c's then we count we can so first of all we are discussing like how we can do this question so we take a maximum variable okay so maximum at the starting maximum is zero maximum coding is zero so first of all we iterating a loop in first string and we find out that there are how many c if the c is present here then we counting the count okay so count is one two three and four if any e or s is come on this line then we convert counting to four to zero okay and at that time we also check if our coding is greater than maximum then we convert maximum is equal to coding like at the position of c first c after we are checking then if we are getting the c at any position then we count that c is one here okay then we are checking c is count is greater than maximum yes definitely maximum is zero here but our count is one so we are converting the value of m by one okay then after that we are going to another c then c are again they are count two then two is greater than maximum yes definitely then maximum value is now two and after that c value is three here so count is three but maximum is two maximum is less than count then maximum is equal to count so maximum is three so after that count value is four here so maximum value is here three but count is four so we convert maximum is equal to count so maximum value is four out. so maximum is maximum coding streak containing now four okay highest but there are one e is coming in our example okay at that time of e or s coming our count is goes to zero because there are no any continuity of the coding streak here remaining okay so our count is now zero so again we are checking there are one more coding streak then count is one but our maximum is four then we are not any changing after that one two then three then four at that time there are four coding streak and our maximum is four so there are no change in after that second day start then we are checking about the same thing okay understand what i what i am doing here so guys now come on the code and then we find out how we can do this question so you now you understand code very easily for the my analogy that i am explained to you so first of all i am taking the input like there are four you can see here this is the input like four i am copy this and paste it here for the better training so you can see here so first of all guys there are four here so i am taking the value of n in sc dot next int i am containing the scanner class object then storing the value in n okay after that i am creating a string array so these are the four string array you can see here guys first string second string third string and fourth string okay so i am iterating a loop from the zero to the n what is the value of n here n is four okay then i am storing the value in n then i am creating a array of string and the length of string is n n is four here so the our string array is length four okay so i am creating a string also here string str is equal to test this so now forget this so i am explaining after some time this why i am writing string is here okay so line number 92 <laughs> अभी इसको आप भूल जाओ इसको मत देखो इसका बाद में यूज आएगा जब हम लॉन्गेस्ट स्ट्रिंग निकालेंगे ओके लॉन्गेस्ट स्ट्रिक निकालेंगे तब सो नाउ कम ऑन दी कोड देन वी आर आइट्रेटिंग और लूप फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन 
and we are storing the value in array of i. So this is our array and array of i is array of zero is equal to sc dot next. So in string array, we are taking the whole string and put in this string array. And after that, this string, this string, and this string, we are putting in this array, okay? So our array is now full with the these four strings, okay? So after that, I am tell, I told you that like we are creating a maximum variable for the counting of the coding. So guys, I am iterating a loop from the array's length, zero to array length. You know very well the length of the array is four because our input test case is four. So array's length four and I am incrementing the i. After that, a count variable for the continuity of the coding strict, okay? So this for loop for the these strings like for first string, second string, third string and fourth string. And after that guys, when we are taking the first string, then you know very well, like when we are taking the first string with the help of outer loop, then we are iterating in inner loop also, in inner string also. So we are iterating from this S to this C, okay? So we are need one more loop. So you can see here the outer loop for the, you can see here the outer loop for the four strings but the inner loop for the iteration in every string okay so count is zero and int j is equal to zero we are iterating from j is equal to zero to array of i dot length what is array of i array of i is first string this string you can see here s to c so we are iterating from zero to this length okay and increment by one so if array of i array of i means first string dot k rate j because the array have property like the k rate at index position k array of i dot k rate j is equal to is equal to c if we find out any c character coding character okay then we simply increment the count variable okay because our c is for the our coding strict okay then if if we are find out any else like s or e then we simply count is equal to zero so guys understand one thing like i am copying from here to here for the better understanding like now we are putting it here so you can see here if area of i dot care at j is equal to is equal to c so come at this position the c is present here then we are simply count variable count plus plus then if condition is executed here then else condition is not execute so after that we are checking we are increment the count variable and after that we are checking if maximum is less than count we are definitely maximum is zero but our count is now one because the we find out the one c here okay so we are converting if max is less than count then max is equal to count so we are here we are storing the value of maximum strict okay because when we find out any other word like the after the 4 cc here we are find out the e variable we are simply count we are simply convert the count variable to the zero but we are not storing anywhere so for the storage of the the strict of the coding we are taking the maximum variable for the maximum count so at this position guys when count is equal to four here like i am writing here for the annotation with the help of annotation so you can see here at this position the count variable is four okay and count variable is four then after that uh, the last c the count is four if maximum is less than count yes definitely maximum is less than count then maximum is equal to count so maximum value is now four here okay so maximum is four so after that when it come at the position of e then simply if condition is not executed because the character is not c character is e here so simply else count is zero so our count is value zero then if condition is not executed because the maximum is greater, greater than the count so we are now iterating like C, C and C here. There are four count of C. Then again, count is less than 
count maximum is less than count so no because they are equal so maximum is remaining same four after that we when we are coming at the second string when our i value is one okay i value is one then we are come in this string okay guys so when we are come in this string then we are again check if array of i array of one dot k root at j is equal to is equal to c then we are again count plus plus so in this condition one two three four five there are there are five five c here you can see here one two three four five c here so we are counting c is equal to five so you can see here when the inner loop is iterating at the five time then count value is five at this position okay guys then we are checking if maximum is less than count definitely our maximum is four but count is now five so our maximum is equal to count so maximum is convert four to five we are increment the value of maximum because we find out the value of count is more than four because we here find out four and also here we are found find out four but here we are find out five c together so our maximum is five here okay we are storing in the maximum because maximum is globally declared here okay guys after that there are some s condition then again count is zero then again some more c condition one two three four there are four coding streak then there are no impact in the maximum after that when we are come at the third string when i value is two okay then i value is two then we are come on this line then we are checking sss they are irrelevant for our question then after that eating then after that sleeping then there are many cc you can see here so we are counting one two three four five then six at the time of six our count variable is more than maximum then maximum is convert to six after that one more c percent so there are you count this there are seven c percent together okay at that last last c the count value is seven but we are checking here our maximum is less than count definitely our maximum is less than count if our maximum is less than count then what we can do here we are simply assign the count value to the maximum value understand guys so we get the our maximum string coding strict here so maximum is equal to seven here okay so in the last string you can see here there are four five c percent so this is not maximum in the line number three there are maximum string percent ma maximum strict percent so we are assign the value to the maximum at seven okay so after that now we are talking about the string variable that I am creating here. So guys, we are find out the maximum streak in day wise. So I am creating here a string. So why I am creating this? I am creating for the longest streak. So guys, if we are checking like that, there are four string here and there are some string, uh, some coding streak here. So there are so complicated to find out. So there are one alternative. The alternative is we are combining the whole four day strings in a one string str so if we are right like this like listen this string i am cut here paste here cut here and paste here and cut here and here i am sorry this is the wrong i think so cut and paste okay so i am doing this operation here guys you can see here for i is equal to zero i less than n n is four you can see here where is this n is four and i am iterating a loop from zero to four length four and i am simply guys here i am doing like i am first of all i am storing in the array device but here I am storing str plus is equal to array of i. So I am first add this thing, then add this thing, then this 
then this i am concatenate concatenating these things okay so these are string these are equal to str so we get the str value here okay when we are getting a long string then we can find out easily that the longest string present between them i easily find out this is the longest coding string present here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay 9 coding together so you can see here there are simple code simple same code present for the same thing so i'm iterating so int high is equal to zero high is also is like maximum here and num is zero num is also like count okay so i am using the different naming convention here so i am iterating a loop from zero to string dot length so what is the length of the string whatever what is the length of the string i am simply string dot length okay i zero i less than string dot length and i increment then if str dot caret i is equal to cc if they are equal to c then i am simply count the variable like num plus plus and if there are any letter like there are nine c present then after one s are coming then simply we assign the num value zero so i am doing the same same process that i am doing here okay guys for this is for the single string if c present then num plus plus if high is less than num at first of all i is zero and num value is something like here he is find out one two three four four coding strict so he find find out num is four but high is less than num high is zero num four so high is equal to four so high is, high is now storing the four value but at that time num value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and at that time high is less than num yes high is 4 but num is 9 so high is equal to num so high value is now 9 so after that you know very well this is the longest string we get it from here and there are no any longest string present here so at finally we are getting the highest string and we are getting the maximum string so after that we are sorting the result System dot out dot print ln maximum with the commas uh, with the space separated with the high. So this is the overall solution of this complicated question in this single in the easy way. So hope you enjoy this question. And if you have any doubt in this question, you can simply ask in comment section or whatever in Instagram. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and share with your friends. Thank you so much, guys.